Our new president was sworn into office on Friday, bringing with him the potential to unleash massive public policy changes that will affect every facet of U.S. business. On the Business Courier front page centerpiece this week, Businessman in Chief Takes Charge, How Donald Trump's Presidency Could Impact Cincinnati's Economy. President Trump says he intends to repeal the Affordable Care Act, get tougher when it comes to trade agreements benefiting American workers, and spend as much as $1 trillion on infrastructure deals. The Business Courier looked at what those changes could mean to the companies and institutions that drive Cincinnati's economy, with a focus on construction, commercial real estate, the Brent Spence Bridge, Procter & Gamble, healthcare, Macy's, banking, Kroger, and the restaurant business. The Business Courier reporters teamed up to write this piece, and their boss, editor Rob Dommeyer, joins Business Watch producer Kelly Leon in the studio to talk about what they found. Rob and Kelly. Thanks, Peg. The boss man is here. Never in my life have I been called the boss, but you I'll take it. You are the boss. So yeah, okay. how did you guys, how did your team come up with that list of nine broad areas? So our reporters really just took a look at their own beats. And we sat down and talked about what parts of their beats were they hearing that there was going to be the most volatility, good or bad. Mm -hmm. um, and so that we just boiled it down to there. Um, it was pretty. It was pretty simple. We decided to be more specific on some of these, like with Brent Spence Bridge yeah. or, or some specific companies, because they're just their importance is so outsized in Cincinnati. So. Um to get the full picture, you need to read the print edition yes. in, in each category. But give us an overview. What would you say are the top couple of issues that you guys will be watching closely? Well, one of them we're going to talk about in the next segment is banking. That, that there's been some really dramatic uh, kind of changes in, in the banking community uh, since he took over. But but everything else really is revolving around regulations uh, and Congress. So in mm -hmm. other words. Uh, business most Wall Street right now believes that there will be a lot fewer regulations right I mean this the market was priced for Hillary Clinton to win the Wall Street thought Hillary Clinton was gonna win the economy thought Hillary Clinton was gonna win nobody thought he was gonna win he did and then wow things started mm -hmm. bouncing right away we've mm -hmm. had a huge Trump effect in mm -hmm. a lot of different areas but it's regulations a lot of businesses are very happy that they think that that there'll be a lot fewer regulations but we haven't heard much from some places like big hospitals yet who are could get crushed by if, if the ACA goes yeah. away but because this was such a surprise we just haven't heard a lot about it yeah and I did to your point I thought it was interesting that you had these broad topics but then the Brent Spence Bridge which is something you know each of us deal with on Absolutely. a regular basis. How any thoughts on how that will unfold? So if you remember, I don't know if it was his first term or his second term when Obama actually gave a speech under the Brent Spence yeah, Bridge right. trying to kick off his big yep. uh, infrastructure uh, budget. Well, uh, the Republican Congress wouldn't go for it, so yeah. that that went nowhere. He's, you know, it's all Republicans now, Senate, House, right, and, and the yeah. President. So there's a lot of talk that he wants. He wants to spend up to a trillion dollars on infrastructure. Uh, we badly need it as a as a country. It would create hundreds of thousands of jobs. So that's something most people can get behind. Mm -hmm. The Brent Spence Bridge obviously would be a beneficiary of this because it's very high on the list of problem pieces of transportation infrastructure right. that desperately needs change. Yeah. Well, a lot to watch in the weeks ahead. Absolutely. Weeks Ten months ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And years for That's that right. for that fact. That's right. Rob, thanks for being here. Okay.